Hey guys, it's Mikey's Mind here, and uh, I'm back again with another review. Um, I've uh, always read a mixture of books, a mixture of styles and genres and eras and periods, and that's reflected here. I read The Secret Garden uh, by Francis Hodgson Burnett. I've never read it before. I've watched the film. Uh, my sister, it's one of my sister's uh, favourite uh, films, one of her favourite films. And um, yeah, I finally got around to reading the book and it is an absolute classic. First published in 1911, um, it was serialised in 1910 for American audience uh, in a magazine. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, it's uh, charming, it's, a chil it's children's literature, it's classic children's literature, but I think it, it uh, reads so well to adults as well. And, and it was one of the early books that sort of had this phenomenon of, of being a children's book, but was being read by adults. And that's something that continues today, obviously, as well. Um, but an, an absolutely superb book. Um, for those that don't know, uh, Mary Lennox is uh, living in India. She's uh, unloved, completely ignored. Um, nobody wants her. Um, she's raised by servants and is allowed to become selfish and stubborn and mean and rude and lazy. And uh, none of it's really her fault. Her parents don't love her. They don't uh, look after her at all. They uh, die, there's a cholera outbreak, and she's left completely alone. She is discovered um, hiding in the house uh, by uh, soldiers or doctors or something, I can't quite remember, and she's, she's just completely abandoned, basically. Um, she's brought over to England, and she, is, uh, she lives with, or she's sent to live with her, um, her uncle. She lives in his house, at least, this big rambling sort of English manor. And... Again, she's kind of neglected a little bit. She um, she has um, a maid, a kind of servant, Martha, brilliant character. Um, but she soon starts to um, discover this this the, the land, the landscape around her, uh, the nature, the environment, and it's absolutely brilliant watching her her um, sort of just go and discover. And she finds this key, and the secret garden is revealed, and and she's just. Watching her discover the, the nature around her is absolutely brilliant. Um, I just want to read a little bit, actually, from that from that moment. Um, she is, as I said, a really stubborn character, and I think she's I think it's hilarious the way she the way she speaks. But it says um, it says this gave her so much to think of that she began to be quite interested and feel that she was not sorry that she had come to Misselthwaite Manor. In India, she had always felt hot and too languid to care much about anything. The fact was that the fresh winds from the moor <clears throat> had begun to blow the cobwebs out of her young brain and to waken her up a little. And that's really, I think, where the book uh, really wins, is this idea of awakening and rejuvenation. Um, she discovers birds and soil and, you know, little shoots growing out of the earth, and she absolutely comes to love it, um, mainly with the help of Dickon, um, one of the more fascinating characters. He's like a sort of, I don't know, he's, a, 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 he's completely at one with nature. He understands it completely. He's grown up around it. He has no hobbies, no interest other than just purely nurturing the earth. And that's clearly the main theme in the story is, is this idea of uh, awakening someone, bringing, bringing someone something back to life. Um, she, there's a sort of ever so slightly gothic element in that she starts to hear these uh, cries, this crying in the corridor, and, and it's um, it turns out to be her cousin. He is um, allegedly unwell. He's completely bed bound, and he's going to have a hunch on his back. And none of that none of that happens. He he um, he finds a lease of life um, with Mary outdoors, and it's just an absolutely charming book. Um, it's typically English. It feels in the look of it, the feel of it. The descriptions of nature are absolutely brilliant. That they're, they're they're luscious and, and detailed, um, not over the top either. Um, it, it's full of thick Yorkshire accents and dialects, which um, don't become tiresome. I find accents in book can sometimes great, but this is this doesn't do that. It, it kind of works, and it's really funny to watch um, Mary pick up this Yorkshire dialect and accent. I thought that was quite entertaining. Um, one of my favourite scenes in the book, I can't remember it, completely but she starts to tell Colin off he's kicking off he's having a tantrum and she says something along the lines of well if you're dying hurry up and do it and no one will care and it sounds so wicked and so mean and it kind of is but she she's just trying to get a reaction out of him she just I think sees in him the kind of stubborn behavior that she had um previously um compared to the film if you've seen the film um I, I imagine there's multiple adaptations but there's one major adaptation in my mind early sort of 90s adaptation um there's more i think there's more success with this idea of colin as the young raja um 
in the film he he bosses people around and it's quite entertaining to watch this young actor do that but in the book it comes to life a little bit more um he takes on that role even further and and it's just it's just an absolutely brilliant book um i'm surprised i left it this long to read it really um but yeah it was it was a really really pleasant read i read a lot of different stuff sometimes horror sometimes classics victorian novel, whatever it might be um but this this really stood out um it's it's a really good read so if you're into your classics a little bit of english countryside kind of railway children style kind of book um have a go i'm going to read um i think she had another book called little princess um as well by francis hodgson Burnett. so i shall probably read that at some point um just to kind of wrap that up but yeah really enjoyable and um, if you've read it, let me know down below if you plan to read it or if you've seen the film or if you've got some vague memory of it. Um, get in touch in the comments uh, and we'll have a chat about it. But yeah, a really, a really good read. Thanks for watching the review, guys. Thanks for tuning in and uh, I will see you soon. Take care.